U.S. intel committees approve arming Syrian rebels. Top general warns of costs. This is out of Russia today. The House and Senate intelligence committees have given a green light to arm Syrian rebels as their concerns were alleviated, but a top U.S. general warned that high costs of military options could reach into the billions. This, of course, is Martin Dempsey, the chief of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranking military advisor, basically warning that it's going to cost between $500 million and a $1 billion a month to maintain a no-fly zone, which, of course, is a euphemism for a total bombardment on Syria and may even be ineffective because the Syrian army relies on artillery, not air support, to fight the insurrection. So while U.S. cities like Detroit are going bankrupt, the Obama administration is push pushing for another multi-billion dollar military bombardment on Syria. In the meantime, the report states U.S. President Obama will continue with the plan to arm Syrian rebels after several congressional concerns were alleviated. And it looks like Dempsey, with this article, is actually trying to stop this madness labeling the move for what it would be, which is not a kinetic action like we saw in Libya, but an overt act of war. And, uh, of course, John Bomb 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 Iran McCain is threatening to derail Dempsey's position as, as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff as a blackmail to get him to push for this no-fly zone military bombardment. But at the moment, he's warning against it. Because Syria is not Libya. You know, Libya had a paltry army of 15,000 soldiers and virtually no air force. Syria, on the other hand, has one of the most sophisticated air missile defense systems in the world, stronger even than Iran, according to most analysts. And they've got these Russian-made surface-to-air missiles, of course. So we know that any kind of no-fly zone bombardment of Syria will be met with a fierce response and inevitable loss of life on all sides. But, you know, the excuse is we need to stop the weapons of mass destruction. Well, you know, where have we heard that before? Do they mean the, the chemical weapons that were admittedly launched, used by the Obama-backed rebels, as the UN report stated, the same rebels who slaughter and ransack entire Christian villages, as we're going to see in the next article. Of course, the only reason they're arming the rebels now, that they're pushing through with it, is because the Syrian army is scoring key military victories across the country. They've already been receiving the weapons from Gulf countries with the aid of the CIA, these Al-Qaeda rebels. Uh, now, because they seem to be losing militarily, McCain and others are continuing to push for this military bombardment by the ludicrously labeled no-fly zone, now being given the green light by U.S. and House intelligence committees. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.